Oh, hey, Eric. We also haven't talked to you since, uh, I don't believe, before your injury in the uh, before the Jacksonville game. What kind of happened before the game? What was the extent of the injury? Just how frustrating was it to miss the last five games last season and not be able to help your team potentially secure a playoff berth? Yeah, you know, uh, frustrating. You know, obviously you deal with injuries in football. It's part of the game. But, uh, you know, you never really know what's going to happen. Uh, happened uh, Jacksonville last five games of the season. You know, unfortunately, I, you know, I felt like I was having one of the best seasons of my career, and I, I wanted to obviously help my team win win games. So just not being there and uh, being on the sideline was obviously disappointing. Um, but you know, uh, you know, we've been rehabbing, been recovering, and and, and feeling good. So uh, looking forward to this upcoming season. Eric and then John. Eric, I uh, get. Hello? Hold on, sorry. Did unplug? You hear me? I can hear you. Uh, how much are you enjoying, um, I guess, being next to Anthony again after missing him all of last year, you know, kind of getting him back? Obviously, he kind of redid his deal to come back. Um, are you enjoying that? And uh, how weird was it last year to not play with him? Yeah, you know, it's definitely weird. You know, this is, I think, uh, shoot, I'm not, this is our almost, I think, 11th year playing football essentially together as far as like UCLA plus Vikings. So it's been pretty cool. It's been pretty crazy, crazy, crazy journey. Last year, obviously, we we were without him and we missed him. Um, but uh, you know, I think the one of the uh, there was a play during you know um, during OTAs. I feel like uh, it was pretty complex, and we kind of we kind of just passed it off effort, effortlessly. You know how how we do. We're we're very in sync and communicate very well with one another. So um, you know, I'm looking. I'm excited to you know continue this journey with him. Hey, Eric, just, I mean, what, what is it going to mean for this team to get Daniil back healthy again and, and just to have a presence like that on the defensive line, getting after the quarterback and all the things that he can do up front for you guys? No, definitely. Uh, Daniil's the best in the league. Uh, you know, I think, I think uh, you know, we, we, we felt that, uh, um, especially, you know, even not even having him, you know. Um, but uh, uh, looking forward to, you know, seeing, seeing his progression, you know, coming into this year. I know he's ready to play. You know, he has he he missed the, all of last year, so I know inside he's probably he's probably boiling and ready for that. You know that that first snap. What Dave Campbell and then Sam. Eric um, <clears throat> touched on the the new defensive players a little bit earlier, but has it been striking at all? Just you know how different the the starting lineup could really be this year. Um, you know, with guys back from injury and, and just so many new uh, players signed. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's a, it's a, it's like a perfect mix between you know uh, guys who uh, uh, I feel like have the experience and the, and the know how and, and and the plays under their belt, and you know an, an, another mix of the guys who are fresh and, and eager and and willing to learn. So you know, I feel like uh, we have good leadership and 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 good coaching, and it, it should be great. Yeah, Eric. Um, Eric Wilson really emerged last year as a pretty important piece of this defense. Um, how difficult will it be to replace what he brought? And and kind of what, what do you think uh, this team is looking for in that third linebacker role? Yeah, you know, I, like I like I say, you know, uh, it's impossible to re to replace some some guys like that. You know, um, Eric Wilson obviously uh, did well for us on teams and and obviously had a huge impact for us on defense last year. Um, but, you know, we're without him this year. So um, we're looking forward to someone else stepping up and creating their own role. You know, you don't got to be Eric Wilson, you know, for sure. But you got to be your own player that brings, uh, you know, your own attributes to the game and and and, and look forward and, and just have that enthusiasm coming into work, you know, coming into play and be excited to make plays. We'll go Chris Andrew Craig. Oh, hey, Eric. Uh, wondering how uh, rookie linebacker Chaz Surratt has been looking for you guys and how interesting of a story is it that he's playing quarterback when he comes to North Carolina, moves to linebacker, and he's, you know, become pretty good in a short period of time with that new position. Yeah, you know, um, I, I feel like uh, oftentimes, you know, that, that shows the kind of athlete the player is. Um, and, and, you know, they're just, they're just their football IQ and their football, uh, you know, uh, Comfortability, I guess you could say, in a way. Um, I, I played. I, I'm not saying I played football, uh, quarterback in college, but I also played quarterback in high school. So I know, uh, you know, it, it's it's. You think it would be a tougher transition, but you actually uh, are very in tune with the game. Hey, Eric, I've been asking players just about their thoughts on the Vikings and their their vaccine messaging, as they've kind of had um, different seminars and Dr. Alan Sells talk this morning. 
Uh, how do you feel about that? And where are you at in terms of the vaccines? Uh, have you chosen to get it at this point? Yeah, I'm fully vaccinated. You know, I, I did that because, you know, obviously I want to be able to travel about and see, uh, see you know, members of my family and, and, and friends and, and not get them sick as well as me not get sick. So that's, that's where I'm at.